speaking about sacking, of course, there was a, a sack at KCCA, of course, a few weeks back. And uh, right now, they're still contemplating on whether to really have a local coach or get another, another foreign. However, uh, news coming through, it's more likely to be a local coach uh, to take on the mantle, though we still have uh, a Magera in the right. Uh, names that have been that have been pulled out, of course, there is a one Alexis Sabidian. Then uh, there is a uh, one Abdallah Mobiru who has been at uh, the helm of KCCA before. Uh, KCCA, can Abdallah Mobiru revive or make an impact on KCCA anymore? Yeah, I think by the time I speak, the KCC board was supposed to meet again to make a final decision today on who will be the next head coach of KCC. Of course, the two names there, Abdallah Mubiru and uh, Alexis have been the main co uh, f front runners for the job. Mm. Uh, you remember uh, the club first engaged Abdallah Mubiru and uh, he gave them what probably he hoped to do as a person moving forward and what he needs uh, moving forward. Uh, before they had to turn to, to, to Alexis Sabi, probably to see if he cannot take on the offer. Reports indicate is that uh, most of some of the board, some of the former players and also the former coach, uh, that is uh, Mike Mtevi, including the former chairman, uh, Julius Kabugo. Back to Sabi. Uh, had actually backed out that movie to take on the job. Okay. But one of the things I think has come to the fact that uh, many feel in the situation KCC in, yes, Abdallah can fit into the style of play KCC believes in, but in terms of fixing the club, he may need time. And they don't need probably, some feel that uh, KCC does not need someone who may need time. They want probably someone who will fix the club. That's where Alexis Abi. Actually, this matter matters going even very far that there's, there are also reports that, are, that, that there's been a call from a high top official at FUFA who engaged KCCA as authority, the executive director, that is Madame Dorothy Chaka. Mm. That's why Isabiri has reached as a coach to join KCC. Do they need Isabiri? And that's, I'm telling right you, and the, right the right fact now. that they've, they've even gone on to engage, the person did have to engage in the, the executive director, Madame Dorothy Chaka, that uh, Isabiri should take on the job. It shows you how much now where this job has gone in terms may, of who may, will take may, on. Maybe uh, something I want to understand. Why would FUFA engage Saka? Because the, one, um, one um, of the um, officials. No, yes. Why would the officials engage Saka on the type of coach to name for a club? No, I, I think, I think the it, argument was... Well, the because argument, uh, because my, my point is... He can be fun. Yes, yes, but because that's more like... An involvement in what a club does. I mean, are you trying to advise? Have oh. just, but is this news? Have you just seen my no. Mugat? No. Yes. But, let me, but really, it sounds... Let me, let, let no, me, let me it reply looks small, Miranda. but it really ha holds something. Why would FUFA recommend someone for a certain club? Let me... Let me. What, what's, what's Reports indicate mm. uh, <coughs> they engaged <coughs> the ED of KCC. They, they told the ED of KCC K mm. uh, that... Uh, KCC football club is a model club. Mm. When they see it in this kind of situation, they, it doesn't play good, good for Ghanaian football. football so true. At some point, you could probably buy their idea. But also, mm. there is a bit, you, something you wouldn't want to forget. There is a bit of Abdel Mubiru not taking on, given a job at the Crested Cranes, and, and offers they did not actually take on the offer. He claims, I don't know what happened then. Oh. That bit also comes okay. back. When, also he, when, he, when he was named uh, the assistant yes. coach of oh, the Crested so Cranes. Yeah, oh, he snapped the job. Yes. Because reports also indicate that, uh, that uh, in this incident, this official tells KCC the ED that uh, this man disrespected dis 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 us the other time when they gave him a job and he didn't take in the job. So that's why the, the situation has been. But so, so the issue is not about the competence of Abdullah. No, uh, no and, and I'm, coming, I'm, I'm coming under the competence. Why many of some of these people backed Abdullah, I mean, is mm. is because one of the biggest services it has been one, his style of play. Many of the people who have been probably not, who have not supported him yeah, has been because of his style of play. Mm, mm. Because they it's, believe. It's not the case to say that yes. it's style. Yes. But in terms of fixing, okay. they believe can do your job. Mm. Two of KCC players who have been are not so are on suspension. Uh, that is uh, who were what, who were what, taken what, off the pitch by the former coach Sagio, Moses Waiswa, Moses Waiswa and uh, Derek Chan. Okay, were reportedly told to return to training by Alexis Sabire, and they did. 
return to training yesterday. They trained with the team. So, mm. this time you told them to return to training? Yes. The reports indicate he told them. He told so, to them wait, to report. Maybe uh, for clarity of our viewers, Issa Abide, who hasn't been confirmed yes. as head coach, he calls these players and tells them that you go back to training. That means he's met the, teams, the team before. But, he also, he the, but, but he how, how can he decide? How can he decide? But also, that's, why, that, that's why I'm going. No, he's met the team now. He right? hasn't met the no, team. But, but, but also, the one team thing I've realized Because they have not agreed yet. He said they offered what he wanted. Actually, when you look... Oh, in his, one of his offers, or in what wants, among the few uh, uh, moments that he really wants to happen at cases, to have these boys back. And indeed, he talked to the reports indicate that he talked to the players and returned to training. Maybe what I want to understand no, from that this is not really possible. And no. I'm telling you, where does he get the powers? And, I, no. I, 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 and no. that's what I'm trying to ask yes. you. That, uh, that's why I, I can tell you, in your perception, you can say it's already what? Yes. Another what thing, another, Shafiq, another thing. I'm also questioning the professionalism of these two said players. Because uh, you, ever since Asagi told them to step aside, have they not been trained? There's something that Shafiq is not telling us. So perhaps there's Be because, the other to go to. Because, because if they are professionals, they are employed by KCC Football Club. I mean, I don't know how long the ban was. They were supposed to turn to training. But if you need someone from outside first to tell you that, please I don't go know. back after training. I think, I think for me the issue was this. Yes. Uh, I, I, I need to understand that. The one, issue right? was this. Yes. These players, before talking about Risavide, they mm. reports before they, with the reports that they had talked to Risavide. Management had already contacted them before they talked to each other, mm. so they returned. But the problem was the fact that uh, there was no a clear letter, whether they are being suspended or not. Because what these players wanted was a clear letter. Because the, the board was also involved. Because there was a requirement from the board, from the former coach, Sergio, that let these players get off the, the what? The, the pitch, not to train mm. with the team mm. again. So mm. the players also wanted a formal letter from the club informing them that Probably your period was for two games or for, was for two weeks, not to train with the team, but which the club did not offer them. So that's why I was telling that before he started contacting these two players, earlier the management to the chairman had already engaged the players to start uh, the bounce back into the team. Because the right is that uh, when you look at the, the, the key areas, cases were, were missing, their goalkeeping department mm, and the midfield plus also the, the defensive. Mm. You would probably feel that yes, these players could actually add on to what the team was lacking moving forward. So, I was trying to uh, conclude with this Aguilar's appointment. When you look at how much he was going to earn at, they almost actually requested for the same amount, just like some similar, just like Abdullah Moviru. But this Aguilar was willing to reduce on that. I think oh. it's for about, because the reports indicate the club was willing to offer him about 10 million. And requested I can probably even take the 7 million if you give mm. me an offer. 7? Yes. Okay. And he was ready to do that. He was requested. Mm. He, he was he agreed with the management that uh, if because the management was insisting that uh, we are currently uh, working on a date. Remember the, the former coach is being mm. paid almost every month okay. that uh, mm. that date goes, that goes off. So the coach was doing public work within that within the seven. I think seven between seven to ten million. Mm. So that cannot take it with the club. That's why we are saying that uh, because the, the ideal thing was that uh, can you have the coach before Vipers game? The game is. One day away, that is Friday. Mm. To make very late, probably the coach. Okay. Let Magera be in charge of the team. After that game of Vipers, you can probably find someone who can be a suitable replacement for Sergio Tranjil. That's why I, I'll, I'll be telling you that in today's meeting, <coughs> the management will decide whether they will go with Abdallah Miru. Like I've uh -huh. told you that uh, former players at KCCA, even those at the board level, believe that uh, KCC need to be coached by a former player. Because by record? Yes. Because when you go back, former players have yes. won trophies for KCC. When you go back, all, mm. all, all those who have been at KCC, mm. who have, who have coached at KCC, you go to Abdallah Mobiru, who was there, you go to uh, Sam Simba, when he came in, by mm. you go to uh, Mike Mtebi, you mm. go to Molevi Kwaso, you go to uh, uh, George Nsimbe, you, you, you correct. I, I, I think for me, uh, uh, they've been just lucky that really had good moments, the environment has been conducive to them. You know, look at George, Bess George Bessin Simbe. I mean, he had one of the finest strikers at the time he took on the club. So was Mike, Mike Motebi. You know how the environment was. So with me, I, I think let that not really stop people from me taking on this club because it needs a river. No, 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 because they believe, they, they, they believe this, this kind of players understand the identity of the club. Because mm. the reality of you is that uh, when you look at the kind of uh, uh, playing game that Molebi Okwaso played, it's more of a AC Villa game at Kessis. Because mm. that's the kind of game AC Villa plays, I mean. The kind of game he played under, uh, uh, and, and KC played under Mole Viequas mm. is slightly what Villa plays. So that's why probably Mole could probably win new games, but 
one of his biggest attributes was because he could not probably offer what cases he believed in. So that's why they brought in Sagio. Sagio tried to bring it back. Then they wanted someone who could probably do it. That was Abdullah Mubiru. Mm. But people are saying, yes, Abdullah can give you that offer. But when you look at the the artistic, I mean, we saw police play that that kind of Same game. Style, yeah, they were relegated. But, but, but the players, they really had. Yes, but they, they were relegated. Mm. We saw <coughs> Polari do the same thing. They were relegated. They were relegated. Mm. We saw Vipers during this time. Because Abdullah was giving a, a valid give you that up. During my time at KCC, I wasn't given time. I mean, I bought the, the likes of Paul Mutulezi, the likes of uh, Timo Thawani, who, Mike MTV, thrived on to be true, a successful true, manager. True, yeah. mm. So probably if I was given time, maybe I could do the game. That's why I, could, I also agree with that, that. If KCC needs someone with time, maybe I would have be a, a better option. But if they need someone who's going to fix the problem. Alex is I would. One thing that hurts me so much is that uh, in terms of style of play, style may not fit. But in terms of fixing, he can, he can fix to do a job. Alex Isabiri has, uh, I've been told, those who have been around him, of course, as a, a coach, he has that uh, poker kind of uh, uh, mod. He easily switches. Remember when he was there, the last interview we had with him, he said, <laughs> Remember? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that's why players respect him and did fear him. He's such a young bodied, a small bodied man, but you won't really take him so lightly. He has that kind of character of like the Sam symbol you get. Do you think I really revive or solve the problem at KCC? Alex Sebi is a proven coach. It even it actually is even very sad that uh, a domestic devil, mm. a domestic winning coach is on the bench, unemployed at the moment. Now did you win? <laughs> well, that doesn't matter. Whether you won it, I mean, the, the, the fashion in which you won that domestic at uh, domestic mm. at uh, Vipers. It, it matters. And this is no. such a scoring. Where, where, where I, you I, I mean, you the club? Whether he won the trophy, in what? Exactly. So, so but but because the, 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 want to say that Doctor Nuna was just not fair. Well, I don't know because the, it is on record. He said he won the Uganda Cup and the Uganda Premier League. Okay, yeah. he's, he's, and later on, he was sacked. He's one of the most. He's, in terms of record, in terms of what he has achieved, he's one of the most successful coaches in one exactly. Uganda. He has three league titles, four Uganda Cup. That is Alexis. He made Bull a formidable force, remember? I like it. Two league titles and four Uganda Cups. So uh, for me, what? that's not, Six really, in a, in that's not really easy. Yeah. Yeah. Sincerely yes. speaking, mm. um, Molinua wasn't at Bull. <laughs> <laughs> so, take that also. Mm. Well, um, for me, I feel really Isabi has all the credentials to coach KCC. And uh, KCC, I think, is high time they also started uh letting go of their plight he talked about that they want an abdallah mbiru who can fit in the style that they want i mean that's what that's exactly what uh this Twagwil. Twagwil played and, and fans will tell yes. you that our team is playing training football but we're not scoring he also told that abdallah mbiru while at police police were playing one of the most entertaining football they were really getting true, true. so so for kcc do you want entertainment without victories all you want I success. Asking the same you understand? At one time. Because because me, I, I, I interact with KCC fans. You, 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 actually, right now they are divided. If you get a chance to speak to most mm, of them, because mm. me, there's some come on, I always sit and watch. But you hear these people say, "No, if we want to get back, we need to get his ability." Because we, like Shafiq said, he's going to fix everything. Trust me. Even if you play entertaining, I mean, Sadio did tell you that. Mm. I mean, one of yeah, the reasons, that, 76, seven, I it, remember it doesn't that, matter having a ball possession of 80 percent when e score. after every true, game you're losing true, true. so for me yes uh entertaining football plus victory like you see man city will play entertaining football then they will win yeah. that's tick that's what mm. everyone wants mm. but you've got to look at the situation at the moment case is in a crisis they need to get back at the top so at the moment you don't need a rebuild I know. you need someone to save to a situation business and that it doesn't do any harm to have his side, the problem say, we've hired you for probably the rest of the season. Mm. Get us to where we want to be. Then later on, you can think of the coach that can really play the first of that you want. Another thing I want to, Shafiq talked about um, uh, former players, uh, former coaches wanting KCC to, you know, to stick to people who have been at KCC before. Because the players are used to certain first of But these KCC players, sincerely speaking, not that all of, them, all of them have grown into the KCC Academy. Mm. These are all, uh, I mean, brought in from different, I mean, everywhere. One thing I does, every player, if you come to the, to the club, we've seen Pep do that. Pep has been able to change players at Man City. Okay. Who we all knew were, uh, we used, we used, we used, we used, who were mechanicals. 
But when they get into that PEP team, look at John Stones. You wonder, I mean, how did the John Stones of you, Everton improve? So for you, me, I you're think actually talking about John Stones. I saw, I, I, I was watching a presser uh, uh, today, a uh, Man City presser, and I saw the way PEP uh, was choking, talking about John Stones, how he's going to be missing out John Stones because See? of that injury. But, he, but, he, but, but the like, John okay. Stones we saw at Man City. Now, John Stones is also a pillar at Man exactly. City. No, but so, yeah. so, <laughs> so, but there's so, been so, a pillar into so, that defense. So my point one. is, even at KCC, whether it's Abdelhamid or Alex Savide, any coach has, when a coach comes in with his philosophy, the players at the club, if they are really ready to learn, they can adapt to this field of and system. Interesting, Shafiq. Of course, we don't really have time. Uh, of course, we shall really have that case. Yeah. I think it's going to be going on for uh, We have 